serious red flags are raised in WikiLeaks. Released earlier today, the John Podesta emailed Cheryl Mills, Tom Clinton aide, and said, hey, you think we should hold emails to and from the President of the United States? That would be President Obama. And that's the heart. We now learn today that he claimed executive for privilege in this Hillary email mess. Well, maybe that explains a lot now, because Obama said that he didn't know anything about the Clinton private email until he heard it from press reports. So he's now caught up in her lies by lying himself. And it shows the Clinton server scandal may very well reach the highest level of government. President Obama, what did you know and when did you know it? Because obviously you lied. And then maybe you put pressure on your attorney general and your FBI director. Maybe it explains why Bill Clinton met on that airplane for 40 minutes with Loretta Lynch just before they made a decision. And it also proves why the Clinton's IT team needed to use bleach bit and they didn't like clean it with like a cloth, like, you know what I mean, like with a cloth. And to me, it helps prove why the Clinton's IT team deleted tens of thousands of emails. By the way, the fact that we now know that they knew did they ever turn over the emails with the president? And if they didn't, that's called obstruction of justice. Because they were all subpoenaed. Now, they couldn't bring charges against Clinton or investigate this too much now. I guess we figured out because Obama looks to be directly tied to this. I mean, he knew about the illegal server that she was using. And simply put, for the president, this would damage, this would be the damage equivalent of Watergate. What did he know? about her server and when did he know it? He either heard about it in the press or he knew damn well when he was emailing her. So corrupt, no wonder why. They're gonna have to dump a woman a second now. Oh, now we got another woman coming out. Here we go, Gloria Allred's in the mix, great. Now, WikiLeaks also discovered that the campaign was tipped off by the Department of Justice. What did I talk about this week? Collusion with the media, collusion with the White House, collusion with the Department of Justice. Why would the campaign be tipped off by the Department of Justice about the email server scandal? Why would the State Department give the campaign a heads up about when the emails related to the Democratic nominee were going to be released to the public? And the revelations don't stop here. WikiLeaks also uncovered more about the inner workings of the Clinton Foundation. Remember Chelsea Clinton? To her credit, she saw that there was corruption and pay-to-play going on with her family's charity, and she raised red flags about it, but then she was attacked by her father's longtime aide, Doug Band, as a spoiled brat. Remember, keep in mind, the AP previously had reported that 55% of the non-governmental people who met with Hillary Clinton while she was Secretary of State ended up donating or pledging money to the Clinton Foundation. ABC News also reporting that after the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, $10 billion in relief, 150,000 people dead, and Hillary State Department made a list of Bill's friends and donors so that those people could get the jobs to, to rebuild Haiti, and they got preferential treatment. The New York Post editorial board is calling this, quote, the most damning Clinton Foundation story yet. FBI agent C. Comey as a dirty cop. There's something with Comey here. They got something on Comey. Maybe Comey had a girlfriend. Maybe Comey did something he shouldn't have done. Who knows? This is the way they roll. Something's up with Comey.